Well, hello everybody, how you doing? Going to give you my update here. So, um, what I've been able to accomplish so far on this amp is I've connected the input jacks and I've connected the volume and the tone pots. Okay? And you'll see here on the drawing they connect to this part of the board, etc. Let me show you what that looks like in person. So right here, um, you've got your connections to your input jacks. Okay? These two right here, those are the input one or instrument one and instrument two, and they go to this 75k uh, resistor pair here. And you'll see that these two red wires come right here and go here, and this one goes to the microphone. And then similarly, on these volume and tone pots, so we've got a volume and a volume and a tone in the center, um, they come to the board and connect right here on these barrel connectors. And then on the first volume pot right here, that comes around and connects to the 6SC7 tube right here. Okay? And you'll see that I've got everything relatively neat. I've got my grounds coming from this board. There's a ground connect right here. There's one here. There's one here. Coming to a terminal strip right there. And if you look here, there's a ground that comes off of this connection to another terminal strip, which also is the ground for my input jacks. So essentially I've got this entire side of the board connected at this point. Really no more work to do on this side. Okay. Um, really all that's left now is to connect everything to the tubes. And uh, that should be a pretty easy uh, process. As I stated in my previous video, I'm going to start on this side, on the 6 SC7s. And that's what we're going we're gonna to start working on. And to show you what that means, right? looking at the drawing, Here's the six SC7s right here, and you'll see that they connect to this side of the board. So, just as a reference point, here's your capacitors, which are right here. And if you look at this side of the board, that's what connects to the six SC7, which is right here. So I have to run wires that come over here. Now I've really given this a lot of thought about how I'm going to do that and make sure that I don't get hum, that type of thing. And I think I came up with a, with a good solution, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use it yet. Um, but I've got some shielded wire, and the shielded wire, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run those on the inputs. And make sure that uh, if I have the opportunity to remove, reduce hum, or at least eliminate it, uh, that I'm going to take that opportunity. So um, let, me, uh, let me get some of that wire and show you what it looks like. All right, so basically this is a this is shielded stranded wire, okay? And you'll see I've got a roll of it here, and I've got one open. So basically, it is what it seems. It's a it's a braided outer jacket, and it's got an inner. Let me see if I can focus in on this a little bit. This has got an inner stranded wire, and um, you know I'm not going to connect the jacket to anything. I'm not going to use it as a ground. I'm just going to use it as a shield. So what I could do is just pull this back, strip it. Let's see if I get a focus on here. That would be better. And see if I could um, just connect this to the input parts of the tube on that 6SC7. This way I reduce hum and noise and picking up uh, radio frequencies. And this wire is thin. It's pretty easy to strip back. And it's, uh, it's really made for guitars. This is what they use inside of a guitar to reduce hum. So this goes underneath the pick guard. So I think that's going to be my plan for those tubes is to use the special wire so that I completely eliminate the hum. So that's going to be the plan. I will uh, work on those two tubes and come back and give you an update when that's done. Thanks. Alright, you can see that I've got the uh, shielded wire here going to the first 6SC7 tube. So basically what I did is I peeled back the outer shell, right, the, the braid connected the wire and I put a piece of heat shrink wrap on it just so it covers it. I don't want it to ground obviously. And I've got it run right here and I've got it run right to the tube and I did the same thing on the tube side. I put a piece of heat shrink. And the good thing about this uh, wire is I can bend it in any faint shape that I want and then I can solder it. Put some, put some solder on it and it'll keep that shape. So I did that over here for example. I want to have a nice bend here. right? I don't want to have an overlap so I just put a little bit of solder on it and it keeps the shape. I'm hoping that this uh, shielded wire does a lot with the with the reduction of noise. We'll find out. Um, so the next step, this tube is all done, the first tube. Okay. Um, 
Next step is going to be, I may actually replace this red wire as well with uh, some of that tube, some of that uh, shielded wire. Next step is going to be to do this 6SC7. And I think what I'm going to do on this one, because this one has to connect all the way over here, okay? And I think what I'm going to do on this one is, because I have so much space underneath here, i got like an inch and a half under here. I think I'm going to let these run underneath the board and come over here and use the shielded wire again. And I think I'll be okay. Once I get that second uh, 6SC7 tube in place, then the rest is easy. This is a home run. So these are the 6V6s, and these connections go right here. I mean, this is like about as short as a piece of wire as you can get. So, um, so I'm fortunate there. So I'm going to work on that second tube and get that run in, a, in the appropriate way. I'm going to keep it away from these wires here, which are my inputs and my volumes. But I should be able to run it somewhere along here and get it right over to that tube and not have too much interference. Okay. So that's where we are. Again, we're taking our time, and again, I'm probably going to replace this uh, this this red wire that goes to the volume pot. Um, but we're taking our time here, and we're going to make sure we bend these correctly so they're not laying on top of the uh, filament windings. And we'll put a little bit of solder on them after we bend them, just like that. And we'll make sure that they stay bent and they stay up in the air. That's the key. Keep them away from those wires. So, just to uh, to show you what I mean by this. I could take this right here, pinch it like that, and it stays. I do the same thing here, pinch it, and it stays. And then I could take my soldering iron and come right over here. I just put a little bit of solder on this, and it'll stay that way. Okay? All right, that's where we are. Um, I'll do the next tube off camera, and then when I get done with that, I'll probably add that to the next video. I'm going to cut this one for now. Um, and that's it. So uh, by the next time we get to the next episode, I think I'll have all the, um, all the tubes wired. And we're going to be able to turn this thing on for our first test. So we're getting close, guys. And as you can see, um, it's coming along a lot better than it, than it looked before. It's a lot neater. So um, making really good progress. And uh, we'll get all this cleaned up. These wires are going to come off, too. I don't like these. So I'm going to redo them. Anyway, that's where we are. Oh, one last thing. I'm going to shorten these wires, too. These are the, um, this is the 5-volt winding and, um, and the high-voltage high winding. And we're going we're gonna to cut these back. And, uh, and make sure that they're nice and neat, okay? And don't mind my knobby knees here. <laughs> All right, um, this is it um, for today. Um, hopefully I'll have some power. There's a, there's a hurricane coming up through Florida tonight, and uh, as long as we have power, I'll be putting out videos. So uh, if, I, if not, I'll see you next week, and if not, I may put another video up on Sunday. Thanks, everybody.